Welcome to our channel, Offshore World. In the past videos, you have learned a lot about mobile offshore drilling units. Today, we are going to discuss about a few things about the fixed assets coming in oil fields. We are focusing on offshore fields, where basically three kinds of platforms are coming. Those are wellhead platforms, where the drilling rigs reaches and drills multiple wells. The second category is the satellite platforms and the final one is the super complexes. I will explain about those things in detail. In large oil field, there will be a lot of fixed wellhead platforms and each wellhead platforms will have multiple wells. Some will have one well only. It may go up to 24, depends on the size of the platform. In this, multiple wells will be there, kind production wells, gas injection wells, gas lift wells, and even water injection wells. So I'm focusing on the production wells. The production wells takes oil or crude or mixed gas or mixed will be taken from the field. These are typically unmanned platforms. There will be no permanent residence for the operators. They will be occasionally visiting and all the operations are done with the radio transported units, basically called RTUs. Even they don't have their own uh, external power supply. The power is made using solar panels or heat generating uh, power units. So, from this wellheads located across this field, the oil and gas coming from the wells will be directed to nearby satellite platforms. Satellite platforms are the clusters or center point of the clusters where these wells are located. The trunk lines or basically the subsea pipelines connecting from the coming from the wellheads will be directed to this satellites. In the satellites, there will be more than one or up to 10 separators will be available. At this point, the gas and oils are separated. Some satellite platform will have permanent stay because they are controlling a certain part of the field. And all RTU communication coming from this satellite platforms. And coming to the central complexes, the separated oil, gas are sent to central complexes which is located almost in the center of the whole oil field. So basically you will have a central complex in the center and different strategic location located satellite platforms to which a lot of wellhead platforms are connected. So that is our typical offshore field layouts are done. So what happened to the oil and gas coming to the super complexes? Super complexes usually send this to the field, to the shore, I'm sorry, shore. They use large trunk lines which are 48 or more than that size, 48 inch or more than that size. So once it is offshore, a small portion of it is being test, uh, cracked or sweetened, especially the gas, for the power generation and the remaining is loading, going to the loading terminal. If a plant facility is available, it may be treated to remove the impurities, sand, water and it will be directly loading to the ships or carrying ships. That's how this flow of oil from the well reaches to the ship's carrying ship. Here is a small slide of a typical field layout where these are the wellhead platforms connected to the satellites and from the satellite the separated oil and gas are taken back to super complexes. From there, super complexes, the oil is taken to the shore 
and from there it is to the loading SPMs. And moving to the job section of the day, we have an availability of a couple of uh, top rate technicians to be worked in Sharjah. So for those people who are having experience in top drives, immediately available in UAE, can contact the email address mentioned in the description box. Thank you very much. We'll see you, see you next week with a new video.